Um, Rachel. Rachel, now there's photos here. I'm going to show you a couple of photographs. Uh, this is George and Harry that we're going to show you. And, and the reason we're, we're talking to you about George and Harry, Scott, is that uh, they're two British bulldogs and uh, they want to they play like outside. Playing. They always yeah. want to go outside, but it's hot. It's very, yeah. very hot outside at the minute and they struggle in the heat. And uh, apparently George, which is the oldest dog, has suffered from heat stroke. Um, so, what should you be on the lookout there? Yeah, so vets up and down the country are really cringing at the moment with the rise in a flat-faced breed of dog. Um, about 10 years ago, the French Bulldog wasn't even in the top 10 um, most popular be breeds, and now they're up there number one alongside Labradors. All these dogs aren't really fit for a warm environment. They have a flat face and they have something called BOAS um, symptoms, which is basically brachycephalic, flat-faced, obstructive airway syndrome. So, they, get, so they, get funny they struggle noise. to breathe because they don't have a nose. Everything is shunted into the back of their throat. They also sometimes don't have nostrils and they have something dear, called dear. an elongated well, why they, why soft they have palate. to be bred like that? Well, because the breed specifications for um, certain shows mean that they have to have a flat nose in order to That's be awful. shown. So awful. they are specifically bred for looks, but actually from a medical standpoint, it's a real worry. And also what's worse is that people that find themselves drawn to this type of breed are actually tend to be newbie dog owners. And so they come into a Style fresh, they don't know, well, yeah. they don't know what the problems are. Mm -hmm. And then they get these dogs and they have all sorts of issues. And George and Harry have got very flat faces. One of them has quite small nostrils as well. And so those things you're not going to get around just by any particular type of um, uh, ideas beyond surgical intervention. Um, oh. But what I would say with them is they're getting heat strokes, so of course try and cool them down as much as you can, lots of fresh water, and mm. at the same time walk in the dawn and the dusk. Our Maggie loves the holes, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, so put the sprinkler, sprinkler on. Sprinkler on the sprinkler garden. Sprinkler in the garden, so the greatest toy. Uh, yeah. Scott, really appreciate it. Thank you very much My indeed pleasure. for that update.